This is Spud here from Hits.net.com, coming at you with no quick hit. Now, I've never been a big fan of TV. Just doesn't really do it for me a whole lot. I like movies, I like a handful of TV shows, but games and music is kind of more my kind of gig. However, there's always been one particular TV show that really kind of stood out for me. One that really, really got my leg got my nails into and really enjoyed, and that would be Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, I've been a fan of Buffy for a long time, really enjoyed the show, I think it's funny, it's intense, it, the drama is great, the characters are terrific, the universe around it is fantastic. It's a really, really good show, it's really enjoyable. I, every once in a while, I break out the DVDs and watch them all again. It's always worth it. Probably the same with Angel, although I don't give it as much time as I would with Buffy. You know, probably because of his haircut. But unfortunately, over the years, Buffy has had... Uh, what's the best way of putting it? A lot of shite games. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's start off with the first one I played, which would have been Buffy the Vampire Slayer Chaos Bleeds. Uh, Chaos Bleeds is a PS2 game, which I was really excited about getting into. Now, it would have been out a while before I actually picked it up, and before I actually really started watching the TV show again properly. You know, I kind of fell out of love with it for a long time, rediscovered it after a long time, you know. Uh, unfortunately, Chaos Bleeds doesn't really do anything. It, it's very stiff in the way it works. It, it doesn't really flow very well. The voice acting's fucking phoned in. It's really, really tacky. You've got all the original cast except for Buffy doing the voices, though, which is kind of cool. I suppose the only thing it really has going for it is the amount of different characters you can play as. You can play as Spike, you can play as Willow, you can play as Fate, Buffy herself. You know, and each one has their own kind of, their own ways of playing. Like, for, exa for example, Xander's shit at fighting, so you just gotta run away from demons. You know, Buffy is kick ass. Fate again is all up in your face, kind of kick ass kind of character. Willow would play magic so she kind of played a zoning game, you know. But unfortunately it just, it didn't all come together the way it should have. I remember finding like, you know, zombie monkeys and all this kind of dumb shit. You can also play as Sid the Dummy from season one, which, yeah, why would you want to? Um, moving along then we had Buffy the Vampire Slayer Sacrifice on DS. Uh, I picked this up on a whim, I just happened to be on holidays, and there it was, looking at me, I was like, oh, Buffy game, I had that on holidays, of course, I got my DS with me, so I could pop that bad boy right into it. Um, I suppose the major, major flaw with this game would be the fact that it's really, really fucking difficult. It's a really hard game. You play as Buffy, and you go around, kind of, almost isometric at times. I guess the uh, camera would be fixed camera would be the best way to put it. It'd be like um, a Resident Evil style camera. And you go around, you pick a fight with a bunch of vampires and try and get their asses. You have to continuously pick up new stakes because you seem to leave them in the vampire lab you kill them. I don't know why you would do that. Uh, there's also a lot of little uh, kind of forced person shoot off moments uh, with, uh, with crossbows and stuff. No, it's great. It picks up after season seven. It kind of ties in with the... Uh, with the comic books that follow the TV shows, so, like, you run into Warren and he's got no skin and that kind of stuff, you know. It's, it's got a lot of cool ideas, but unfortunately it just doesn't work. You know, maybe if they, I don't know, maybe if they had to change the style of it a little bit it would have worked, but there's something missing there, I just can't put my finger on what it is, it just it wasn't an enjoyable game. However, Buffy Vampire Slayer on Xbox. Uh, which was an Xbox exclusive, is a lot of fun. Um, it's probably the best Buffy game I've played. There are a couple more on, I think, Game Boy Advance, which I haven't gotten around to playing, but sooner or later, hopefully, I will. Uh, but Buffy on Xbox is good. It looks good. It feels good. It's a lot more fluid than Chaos Bleed did on PS2. It's more of the same idea. It's a two-person action game. You go around, you kick a lump player, like, Demons, vampires, werewolves, big ass spiders, because every game needs big ass spiders. And it, it, it's a lot of fun, it's not a bad game. It, I didn't play a whole lot of it, I played it for a night, I played maybe uh, three or four hours of it. I just never got around to playing the rest. I was playing it on, on my 360, although it's an original Xbox game, and 
I wasn't a big fan of the original Xbox, so when they ask me to press certain buttons that the uh, 360 doesn't have, I get very fucking confused. I don't know where based on my pad they should be, you know. But it was a really fun game. Again, the, vo the voice acting wasn't great in it, but it was a lot more believable than it was in Chaos Bleeds, for example. You know, where uh, in Sacrifice, on the other hand, it's all written text to play their comic bookie, and that's cool, that really walks through the... You know, the voices are really ahead of walks, you know what they're like from the TV show. Unfortunately, from what I've played of Bucket Vampire Slayer game, she hasn't nailed a good game yet. And that's really a pity, because... There is so much there to make a fantastic hack and slash style game out of. Just look at the entire fucking seasons of the TV show. You've got seven seasons of mythology to work with. You know, you've got so many classic characters. You've got, like, say, Moloch the Corruptor. You've got, uh, well, your man's name, Adam, who is like half man, half machine, half demon, half something. They all got silly. You know, you have. Glory, who was a hell god. You know, you've got all these crazy cool characters. You know, I uh, remember Clem, the guy with the funny kind of fall down face. He was fantastic. I'd love to see all these appear in a game and appear for what they're worth, as opposed to just appear because they're there and they have to and we have to make a video game out of this, which is kind of the way these games are played felt. You know, if you'd make a proper hardcore hack and slash game, Starring the cast of Buffy, you know, the cast of characters from Buffy. Even if it was taken up uh, again after season 7, after the uh, the TV show finished, you know, and pick up where the comic books then kind of take off. Which is when things really get kind of over the top in Buffy's universe, because they don't have a TV budget to play with anymore, so things get big, you know, there's full-blown wars going on with hordes of slayers, it's incredible stuff. That would play fantastically. It would be so much fun. Get the same chick who does uh, Buffy's voice in the video games here, who is not Sarah Michelle Gellar. She's some, like, you know, stunt double or something. I don't know, voice stunt double. Get her in to do, do the voices. Get all the original cast back. Apart from that, because for some reason, Gellar doesn't seem to want anything to do with Buffy. But uh, get the rest back. It'd be fantastic. Look at all the great kind of hack and slash games out there. You know, look at your Bayonettas and your Death May Cry and your Gold Awards and take what walks from that and wrap it around the Buffy universe. It would be absolutely incredible. You know, have levels where you can play as Oz the Werewolf maybe or maybe you have to take them down for some reason. You know, have spikes one-liners all day long. You know, it would be, I think it would be absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, at this stage of the game, I don't think uh, Buffy had the same pulling power I had, say, ten or more years ago. It's not on TV anymore, so therefore I kind of, kind of fall their people's memories a lot. Like, you know what I mean? People fall their favour with it. And that's fair enough. That makes sense, you know? But uh, there's always been kind of threats that there'll be a new movie coming out kind of hoping that doesn't happen because they're seeing a whole new cast and all that. But if they made an old school game to go along with it, bit of hack and slash involved, bit of actual tight controls, fluid movement, you know, run around the old uh, Sunnydale campus again, it would be fantastic. I'd love to see it happen. Unfortunately, we probably won't, but who knows? The entire series could rise from the dead someday. We'll have to stick around and see what happens there. This is Spud. From hitstandnave.com, sign it off. Good luck. Thanks for watching one of our hitstandnave.com quick hits. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. You might enjoy some of the other video gaming goodness on this very channel. You can also get us at hitstandnave.com, where we have written reviews, written blogs, and our infamous monthly podcast. Of course, we've also got at hitstandnave on Twitter and hitstandnave on Facebook, all of which will be linked down below. Thank you very much.